Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the Tyndall Effect. So what is the Tyndall Effect? The Tyndall Effect is basically the process in which light passes through gases and liquids. So we're going to try out different experiments to see how it works. Let's find out. The materials that we need are water, milk, fine sand, sugar, and a multi-use flashlight. First, we'll pour water into the glass. I will test how the light scatters three different times. Naturally, water cannot disperse light because it doesn't have particles to scatter. Now let's try adding sugar. Let's see what happens. As shown in the example, true solutions do not scatter light. That is because the solution is homogeneous, meaning it is only in one phase or in one mixture. To experience the Tyndall effect, you need particles suspended in a medium or colloids to scatter light. A true solution doesn't contain both. Now we are going to test a colloid such as milk. Since the mixture was a colloid, it scattered light. The main differences between a true solution and colloids are that visibly, colloids are cloudy while true solutions are clear and transparent. Chemically, colloids are heterogeneous, while true solutions are homogeneous. Lastly, we are going to test a suspension, such as sand. Suspensions such as very fine sand can scatter light. It also differs visually because the particles in the medium can be seen with the naked eye. And when the suspension is left alone for a while, the particles will sink to the bottom. And it is for this reason that a suspension is considered heterogeneous. So there we have it. Those are the experiments that we did today concerning the Tyndall effect. So in conclusion, light reacted differently to a true solution, light reacted differently to um, a colloid, in this case milk, light reacted differently to a suspension, in this case sand. So basically, light reacts differently to different surroundings. Thank you for watching. Bye.